What's up, Smack fans? What's going down? Welcome back to Smackland. Now, you guys have heard a little, uh, you've been on my website, you've heard a little bit about the spiel on the H2 EV Air EV conversion onboard genset project that I'm working on. Well, check this out. Here we have an Azure AC24 AC traction drive system. As you can see, I have uh, already fabricated the mounts um, for the uh, mounting of this uh, traction drive system inside this vehicle. The vehicle here, it's one of these little uh, tiny little zap vehicles. Okay, the zap got it going on. Not exactly the, the, the smack style. This isn't how the smack normally rolls. Um, this isn't my uh, project car. Um, but the individual who's building this car called me because he checked out uh, my site and realized that if you want to do an EV conversion uh, with an onboard hydrogen assisted genset, smack's the man to call. And I've got to tell you, he made the right phone call. So when I got here, the first thing I did, we basically started from scratch. First thing we've done is I fabricated these motor, motor mounts. Uh, all this has been relocated from the original Zap motor, which is uh, this is the original Zap motor configuration, DC, old ancient technology, uh, six horsepower versus our uh, our new Azure Dynamics traction drive, which is uh, 24 horsepower, um, 66 foot pounds of torque. Okay, so we've sent out for the axles. Um, I measured these up. Uh, we're using the original axles, shortening them an inch and a half. Um, and guess what else? Pimping smack style. We're going to have air ride. I'm expecting the air cylinders to get here any day. So this vehicle is going to have air ride on it also to adjust um, ride height because there is going to be significantly uh, more weight on the vehicle than originally designed uh, because we're going to have the uh, onboard genset which is proprietary. I can't really discuss the details of the genset but I'm, um, until the release date, but I'm going to tell you guys, uh, the genset is going to be leading edge. It is leading edge technology out of this world, man. You guys, when we finally get to display, um, this car is going to be doing a, a, a 10,000 mile route around the country. Um, and it will be available for media inspection. We're going to stop at um, <clears throat> a couple of uh, different pre-planned locations. Um, there will be cameras uh, mounted up in the ceiling here um, to uh, for people online can access the vehicle uh, and check the progress, the mileage um, progress. Um, you'll actually be able to see the drivers as they're driving the vehicle along the route, which will be uh, um, covered in the media. Okay, including the Discovery Channel, so it's going to be awesome. But anyway, back to the details of the project. <clears throat> this is kind of a dry run for my Corvair uh, project that I have on my site. So what I've done here is this is all... Now these are the original battery um, con uh, installation points in this vehicle. you got a battery rack that runs from uh, um, driver's side to passenger side, and then you have a battery rack that runs from the rear right up to just behind the front wheel. It's got it's a three wheel. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. We'll go underneath the car in a second. So originally um, we had uh, there's your uh, smack. Oh yeah, smack quad unit by the way. Um, we're testing it right now. This is going to be available on my site fairly soon. But this puppy is really efficient. Uh, white, not yellow flame. High quality gas coming out of there. So there's the original lead acid batteries. Okay, so those lead acid batteries. Uh, used to sit here. Um, the lithium ion batteries that we had custom made, um, they will be arriving shortly. They're uh, quite a bit taller. I think they're about five inches, six inches taller than um, the lead acids that were originally in here. So I, uh, as you can see, I, I got a welder, a TIG welder and a MIG welder at my disposal. So I went weld happy because I love to weld and stuff and fabricate. So I made all this by hand out of scrap metal. Um, this is part of the original frame here, this part is, but I opened up um, the area here so that our lithium ba um, ion battery pack will fit in. So I fabbed up all this, okay, I fabbed up all that over there, okay, and this box here um, was open to the elements. It was just, um, 
it was basically an angle iron cage and as you can see I fully enclosed it it's all uh, it's all encased in uh, I think it's 16 gauge um, cold roll okay and that is because we need to protect our thirty thousand dollar investment yeah yeah but you know the battery packs got a built-in battery management system so it's well worth the money so anyway I went ahead and I fabricated all these um, you know all these uh, the, the box and all the mounting points okay same thing for the center one we dropped it down this one here we dropped this um, unit down six inches uh, five inches from its original location and the front box I dropped down three in, uh, an inch from its original location and again it's closed in uh, you know welded in uh, 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 steel all the way around it yes it's extra added weight but I um, you know with a 10,000 mile trip around the uh, country some of the roads in the you know in the United States aren't the best quality um, you know and there's stuff on the roads I don't want any debris coming in smashing these batteries so steel all the way around these puppies are going to be safe okay and it also stiffens the whole car um, the whole frame is stiffened because uh, the battery boxes they're they're tied in together okay so it adds to the stiffness of this the original frame is pretty thin so anyway so that's all a la smack up there okay and then uh, I'm particularly uh, proud of underneath because the car needed some stru structural uh, integrity um, from original so you can see I've got these uh, cross members here there's four of them okay they're welded right up into the frame okay and you can see how uh, the nature of the construction of the battery boxes from underneath you know it's all it's all hand welded baby all the way down all these welds I was on my back with the TIG welder which it's a little difficult welding TIG upside down, not too too bad. So it's all the the boxes you can see they're all tied in together. So we have uh, plenty of structural support and lots and lots of protection. Very important. Lots of protection. Here's a skid plate right here, uh, right in front of this single front tire. Kind of a weird configuration, but just to protect uh, the battery boxes from any kind of um, you know, uh, significant road debris. Okay, so that's what we got going underneath the Zap vehicle. Getting ready for those batteries.